Thanks for checking out the Bosch and Roll channel. If you want to see me play your deck, hang out with me and the amazing Bosch and Roll community in Discord, access to my lists and sideboard guides before tournaments, book an individual coaching session, or just generally want to support what's going on here, check out the Patreon and YouTube membership options. For the finest Magic the Gathering apparel on the market, use code Bosch and Roll for 10% off your order at coalesceapparel.shop. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. If you want to play what I'm playing, use my affiliate link to support the channel while you shop for cards at tcgplayer.com and play any deck anytime on Magic Online with a cardhoarder.com loan account. Thanks for being here. Let's go play some Magic. Welcome back for another Bosch and Roll Legacy video. Today, at the request of Patreon subscriber Luca, I'm playing a deck that exists. This thing has a kind of storied history. I believe the official moniker the group has gone with is Cradle Control. It's just a deck that can get guys Cradle into play then do crazy things with it. The story of this is it started with elves and Hello Newton led a group of people who innovated on elves trying to fix the combo matchup and they realized that all these cool techie creatures like Endurance and Collector Oof and Elvish Reclaimer stood on their own in ways that traditional elf cards like Quarian Ranger and Heritage Druid and Nettle Sentinel, etc. didn't. And they slowly pulled elves into a mid-range deck that had a combo kill in it. And then they discovered Fiend Artisan. It started as a one or two of that you could Zenith for, and now it's just a four of in this deck. It's the backbone of the deck. Green-black, green-black hybrid, two drop. 1-1 one, one, gets plus 1 plus 1 for each creature in your graveyard. X, green, black, tap, sacrifice another creature. Search a library for a creature card with mana value X or less, put it onto the battlefield, activate as a sorcery. This is like a super zenith. It can trade cards in play for cards in your deck for the cost of mana and tapping this card. And it doesn't care if they're green. Which expanded the bullets you could play from things like Collector Roof and Endurance into Opposition Agent. Brutal Cathar, Archon of Emeria, and whatever the hell else you want. Somewhere along the way, this stopped being an elf combo deck at all. You'll notice no glimpse of nature in the deck, but Natural Order is still appearing, still has Crater Hoof Behemoth. There's a lot of the original infrastructure of elves here, but really skimped on everything that made elf combo elf combo, and... It plays Allosaurus Shepherd to make your green spells uncounterable. Though if you look, there is only seven total elves in this deck at this point. The buff with Allosaurus Shepherd. This is pretty much uncounterable mode, and sometimes it'll make a couple of creatures big. And Elvish Reclaimer, which is a standalone one mana three four creature that puts Guy's Cradle into play. Pretty exciting. Death and Taxes expert David Lance took a crack at playing this deck, and he hilarious called it Elf instead of elves, because his version only had one elf left in it. We're back up to two now. Elvish Reclaimer and Allosaurus Shepherd. But this is just like a crazy mid-range toolbox rock deck. I joked on Twitter that Newton and his crew spent the last year and a half slowly turning one of the most efficient combo decks in history into The Rock, a deck invented by Sol Maka 25 years ago. <laughs> And they, they're all the way back around. They've gone so fair that they now are barely even unfair. And it kind of rules. This is just really cool deck innovation. One step at a time until the thing is barely recognizable as the original thing. Luca was excited about this deck because it plays Marin of Clan Nelthoth, which is one of their favorite cards. I also love this card. I have it in a number of EDH decks, which is the primary place you'll find this card. But here it is in Legacy. Two green black. 3-4, Legendary Human Shaman. Whenever another creature you control dies, you get an experience counter. At the beginning of your end step, choose target creature card in your graveyard. If that card's mana value is less than or equal to the number of experience counters you have, return it to the battlefield, otherwise put it in your hand. This is a crazy creature-based onboard value engine, and since you're trying to kill your creatures anyway, it could be pretty easy to get some experience on it. I don't know, I've never put this card into play in a 60-card format before, I'm excited about it. There's bullets for artifacts, for spells and non-basic lands, for creatures, and for decks that like to search. 
Also in the fair grinding matchups, we got Marin and Grist. Fiend Artisan itself is just going to be huge in addition to being a, a tutor thing. At some point, it just starts like attacking for six. Pretty serious. Four endurance in this build, not messing around with Delver, Reanimator, Doomsday, all that stuff. Even two Elvish Spirit Guide. Oh, I guess I did not count that in the elf count earlier. There are nine elves in the deck. I hope some of you made angry comments already. Thanks for the engagement. This card's unlikely to be in play, but it could be. Taking the deck in a direction of speed that facilitates Elvis Spirit Guide is really exciting to me. This whole thing is exciting to me. Let's just go play it. I, I can't add more. You see all the pieces here. Let's see if we could put them together in a coherent order. Luca, this is Cradle Control, a.k.a. Elf. Let's do it. Three for One Trading is having a Black Friday sale that starts tomorrow, Wednesday, November 23rd. Their entire inventory is 5% off, and they offer free worldwide shipping on all orders over 341 euros. Their online store has an amazing selection of high-end magic cards for vintage, legacy, commander, and old-school players. They're having a special sale every day this week until the promotion ends on Monday, November 28th. Sign up on their site to be the first to know when their Black Friday promotion starts and when new sales go online. I'm on the play in round one against Strifo, who is known for four color piles that play Dak Fade and Punishing Fire. I think this hand's fine. I'm gonna run with it. I'm gonna start with a Once Upon a Time, because that's how that card works. We've got Grist, Fiend Artisan, Elvish Spirit Guide, and Caracas to choose from. It's a little awkward that my second land is Dryad Arbor, but Caracas doesn't really solve any of those problems. I guess I could use Caracas to reclaim her and spin up Cradle. I really wish this was just a normal land. I think that's the line, though. Yeah, I'm taking Caracas. It also gets to represent green-white depths. Kinda. And I like faking that I'm a different deck. Didn't reveal any of the obvious stuff. Like, if I put Fiend Artisan face up there, it's very clear what's going on. Drew Grist. That shouldn't happen, right? Oh no, I fetched after I once upon a time. All right. There was a shuffle in between. Okay, I'm going to spin up Cradle this turn. Over the Burn Willows. Pretty scary first land. Over the Burn Willows, bad lands. Okay. Let's rotate away this Caracas. Find myself a Guy's Cradle. Yep. Punishing Fired. That's tough, but probably fine. At least I hope it's fine. Riot Arbor. Allosaurus Shepherd, Elvish Reclaimer. There's a bunch of creatures for your face. We can rebuy fire and kill one of these things after the Reclaimer. Probably smart. That's the one that both exiles Punishing Fire and... Okay. Uh, one, two, three. I'm just casting Endurance. I want this out of here. And then attack for two. I could have tapped out to Crater Hoof there, but it's not a lethal attack. Minsk and Boo, okay. He can sacrifice the hamster immediately to pick off one of my X ones. All right, he's going big mode, sure. I don't think this thing can attack. Yeah. Okay, is Hoof lethal? I can cast Fiend Artisan and then cast Natural Order. I have I'll have three attackers. Hoof, Shepherd, Endurance. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll have four creatures. Three of them can attack. Three times four is 12. So yeah, that's an attack for 21, which is not lethal. But it's really good. Fiend Artisan, get in there. I'm going to sack the Dryad Arbor to do this. Oof, there it is. I'm just going for face, not messing around with this Minsk and Boo. Conan is at one. And kill Allosaur, Shepherd, and draw a card, or just fetch and die. Going out in style. Good stuff. Okay. Against this four color control deck, you know, we've only seen Jund mana so far, but I'm pretty sure it's a typical. Oh, we, we saw Polluted Delta right at the very end. Yeah, so it's like Jund plus blue. Arkan of Amiria's non basic lands clause will obliterate this deck. There is some graveyard stuff between. Punishing Fire, and likely Uro in the deck. I'm not sure if Leyline is where I want to be with that. There's already a Bajookabog and 4 Endurance in the main. 
Regenitus lets me ram through on low resource natural orders. I think Brutal Cathar is probably not where I want to be. The inexpensive 2 2 against the Punishing Fire deck. Yeah, let me get Progenitus in here. Let's do it. Earths of Paradise into Oppo Agent. That's pretty strong. I'm going to keep. Punishing Fire is a concern. I'm going to try to outmuscle it or hope he doesn't have it. Deck probably also contains Lightning Bolt. Bird of Paradise. In you go. All right, Richard Garfield. My, bolt, my bird didn't get bolted. Did get punished. Zenith for one. Is that better than Fiend Artisan? I could also Allosaurus Shep, then Zenith for zero. That puts two objects into play. Kind of into that. If this gets me closer to Endurance, which I would enjoy having in play if my opponent does or does not produce Grow of the Burnwell as this turn. Tilt. Well, I could pitch and just clear this thing. I'm gonna. Because that's gonna start picking off creatures anyway, and it's gonna be worth more than the two cards I just spent. Putting Endurance in my graveyard also makes Fiend Artisan 3 3 next turn. There's Uro. Snuck it in there on me after my Endurance was used. Fine. Black mana? Alright, no black mana. I've been sick to spike that opposition agent value. Okay, I'm all in. Please don't have a sweeper. Uro is not a sweeper. Got two fetch lands in play. Black source? Endurance against the double Uro. If I attack, Endurance could be waiting in there. My opponent played Ottawara. Like, in what world is six mana the right number, but five's not enough? And it's worth playing a... a Potentially valuable spell land to do. I have suspicions. I can artisan for two. That doesn't seem very good. I think I'm just going to hold up endurance and pass. Because if Uro threatens here, I can endurance and clear it. If it doesn't, I can spin up cradle. And it's being tapped. Pernicious deed. Fuck my life. Okay. You got me. That story checks out. In that case, I will spin away my Dryad Arbor, because it's going to die anyway. Grab Burden Catacombs. Or Bajuka Bog is a black source that also clears all these Uros. Cool. Deal. Okay, here's the deed in the end step. You got me. Ooh. I have no idea if this is better than Oppo Agent, but I'm excited about it. Kaka! Now we got a fetch in response. All right, opponent's down to three cards in hand. And Uro front and back in the same turn, both because of Archon and because the, the graveyard isn't big enough. Can't, like, ponder into spell because ponder is your spell for the turn. That's the turn. Sent it. This still dies to the Endurance that I was playing around two turns ago. Just gonna chill. Assassin's Trophy. I'm gonna respond with Opposition Agent because this will at least resolve. For sure. And he can kill it now if he's got removal, but can't counter it. Okay, sure. Alrighty. Punishing Fire is active. There's that Ponder that I was locking out last turn. Snapcaster. Reponder. I'm not endurancing any of this shit. Not at the cost of natural error. I'm just F6 tier. Go nuts. My opponent is, for the first time, not representing endurance, but I don't have an attack this time. A lot of graveyard stuff between the fire, the snapcaster. And I can't block snapcaster with endurance because of the fire. And end step this baddie. I'm in the lock, my goodness. Okay. Ho 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 ho! You don't say. I know punishing fire is in there. Um, let's fucking go. There's a cool thing that could happen here where if he fires, buys it back, tries to fire again, I can endurance. And gain an experience counter. Oh my god, it's gonna happen. I'm all in here. Experience counters, let's go. They're that P fire. Please don't have another one. No! Cursed existence. I hate this. I hate it so much. Come on, Strifo. I thought we were cool. Oh, that would have been so sick. Luca, I tried. I tried to get Marin to take over a game for you. Back Faden plus Punishing Fire. This is Strifo's entire brand. Uh, I mean, 
I can besage you the grove. And I am going to just fire that off. All Breacher. Oh, okay. So I'm just... Well, I'm not dead because I don't have cards in my hand. But you can target me with Dak Faden and start making treasures. If I had cards in my hand, it would be discard two and make treasures. But I don't have that, so let's go. Oh, discarding Brainstorm over there. Don't like that. <laughs> Sorry, the Mirthless. Yeah, uh, the hump is past here, and he just put Lightning Bolt in his hand. Is there a Zenith for three that's good? And Endurance is in there. Wrist, not great right now. Endurance does clear this P fire. Locks these creatures. I'm going to cast the spell that I have. Ooh, is Artisan better? Artisan is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's an 11, 11. God. Let's try it. Well, 12, 12. Did I? Oh, I missed Birds of Paradise at the bottom. All right, I got a 12, 12. Let's party. <laughs> Brainstorm revealed. Deck fade and activated. Grove of the Burn Willows. Found. Pernicious Steed. No. All right. And I guess. I still have Fiend Artisans in the deck to draw to. This thing's huge. Oh my god. Keep them coming. I'm just going to access two now because I know what I'm getting. It's Fiend Artisan. Another one. This one's 13. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Emblemed with Dak. Yeah, you bolt my Fiend Artisan. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm, done. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Dak Faden got me. I don't think... Well... I mean, Leyline, Punishing Fire won that entire game. If I'm playing Leyline, what am I cutting? And I'm likely, I'm not going to mulligan for it. It's like a, a mid-game play. So I'd have to consider a mid-game world where, like, is it good enough to cast at that point? Oh, Collector Oof doesn't belong in my deck. That's a freebie. I missed that one. Toolbox is deep. And Pernicious Deed, though. Yuck. Not really anything I can do about that. Except combo through it. Just shove Progenitus in. Can't deed it. And Once Upon a Time seems cuttable. Or at least trimmable. When I like all the other cards. Do it. Uh, this hand looks good enough for me. Sucks that I have both Dried Arbors, but I also have Birds of Paradise and Fiend Artisan. Once Upon a Time. There's Progenitus. Elvish Reclaimer and Endurance. It's Reclaimer or Endurance? I think it's Reclaimer. And Endurance is the one that can chonk up and stuff a Punishing Fire. But not in a way that it's useful to me. And right, I'm going to grab Reclaimer and immediately... Do I want to put him to the test of having Lightning Bolt? But that doesn't even really matter. I, I think I want a Bird and set up a Double Spell. Got something. Or not. Or just playing around Oppo Agent. Also a reasonable decision. That a person can make. Flamer. Artisan. I'm casting it for black black because I can. That'll show you. Alright, here we go. I'm in. Little brainstorm. Alright, we found red mana. Did not get lightning bolted. I can't cast ley line because my dryad arbor is a stinky little creature. I can spin up a 1 or 2 drop immediately with Fiend Artisan. I can spin Arbor into Cradle. Try to do big things next turn. And Arbor is getting played. But I can attack with one of these creatures. I'm going to attack with Fiend Artisan. And use Elvish Reclaimer. Turn Dryad Arbor into a Cradle. Oh, my opponent doesn't have his own opposition agents. I am going to chuck the Dryad Arbor into Cradle rather than one of the normal lands and lean into Dried Arbor as a creature. Okay, that makes sense. And I resolve Progenitus this turn. I can certainly put Natural Order on the stack. Here's Dried Arbor. I could also cast Leyline. I don't think I like that, though. All right, natural Order is getting cast. Ah, uh, you still have Force of Will in your deck and currently in your hand, both of which were maybes. And I'm going to pass the turn. Tragic. Jack Faden, okay. Gonna do some looting over there. Discarded Uro and Assassin's Trophy. Gonna bog my opponent. What I sacrifice here is tricky. I guess it's the forest. 
Duke of Bog. Getcha. Fiend Artisan. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six mana available. I'm going to play Beseju as my land for turn. Then black, black, one, two. Play Line of the Void. Cast Fiend Artisan while I still can. And when I attack my opponent, I'm just going to try to get him dead. Race the pernicious deed. And it has to be deed plus land this turn to clear the artisan. Oh, there's the land. Oh, no, no, come on. All right. Oh, coast is clear. Play line versus your deck. Once upon a time. Elvish Reclaimer now or Fiend Artisan next turn. We know his deck has Hall Breacher in it. And Fiend Artisan is better, but getting a card into play right now is pretty exciting. I'm going to stick the 3 4. Bro, feed me. Oh. Enjoy that graveyard. Start a Plague Engineer. The awesome thing about this deck is Plague Engineer barely does anything against it. Okay. One card left in hand. It's whatever you just drew off Uro. One wild card. Oh! oh, oh. Uh, this time I have to attack Dak because if it emblems up and he just starts stealing my creatures, that does not work for me. And. One, two, three, four. Marin of Clan Neltoth. Give me that fiend artisan. Burrow's in the graveyard and will easily escape this turn because Jack will fuel it. There's life from the loam. Got the whole engine happening here. There is a Caracas in my deck. I can also go over the top of Burrow. Those are my plans currently. We're just in a value slugfest. Right on time. There's endurance. I'm going to cast my Fiend Artisan. I'm not going to attack with any of these creatures. I'm going to need to spin up Caracas with Reclaimer this turn, and I get to regrow another one. Up a Fiend Artisan. And Marin is sick. Jack Faden versus Marin, your new favorite dual deck. Pernicious Deed is in exile, I believe. Yes, I did get rid of that. Unless there's two of them in here. I endurance him last game, so I don't know if the two I saw are actually two copies or what. Here comes Uro crunching. I could block, get an experience counter, and just start recurring. I could double block. Sounds risky. It also just take six. Crash back. This is only punished if there's a one-sided sweeper. Ottawara. <laughs> yep. Cursed, cursed existence. All right, well, it has to go up to four to kill Marin anyway. I'm going to spin Bajooka Bog into something more useful. Probably the Caracas for the future. I do get experience counters for this. In case I recur my... Oh, I should have floated three. Damn it. I just missed a really good chance to apply pressure. That was bad. Mean daughters and keep going. Yeah, I should have floated three in response to the deed, put this endurance into play in the end step, and down. That was a huge missed opportunity. I was too excited about Marin. Ugh. All right. I will float uh, all of my mana, and I'm going to endurance in response here. I'm out of basics to search for, so let me just clear this Uro before it's in play. Yep, enjoy your sinkhole. Jack's still crunching, though. And boo, okay. This stops endurance from engaging in combat. The deck emblem is a problem. Not playing that endurance two turns ago, crushing me right now. I'm just gonna attack Dak with both of these. I just can't let them emblem up. Start stealing my eight eights. No thanks. I lose endurance, but it's cool. And skin boo under control, or Dak is under control. And I just gotta beat this Minsk and Boo, which is no short order. They could just yeet this thing and draw four cards, which seems like the plan because it didn't pump pre combat. And yeah, drawing four is pretty good. Uh, killing that Karak is lesser and making a lot of sense at this point. Yeah, I go to six. Could just die to double bolt here. Man, not playing that endurance two turns ago. It's utterly crushing. We're getting a fetch here in the end step. Endurance. Let's keep these coming. It's what I got. 
keep targeting my opponent. I could target myself at some point and then like spin up Marin. Oh, that's really good. I have any way to gain life. Don't. I'm a little worried about double vault, but just gonna have to ignore it, I guess. Vault Breacher is in this deck. Minsk and Boo attacking again is a problem. Or Boo attacking. I'm gonna attack my opponent with Fiend Artisan and Minsk and Boo with Endurance. This opens me up to a single removal spell. My opponent did not have. That's lucky. If you didn't interact with that, you must have reactive spells like counter spells, so I'm not gonna just shove Grist into a counter spell. Alright, I'm just getting burnt out. That's fine. We knew that was a possibility. By that's fine, I mean this sucks, but it's what I got. Yeah, if you can back this up with a counter spell, I'm dead. Yeah, just force a will, drown in the lock, it's all live here. Yeah, too many pernicious deeds, GG. Well played, Strifo, with your awesome deck full of interactive spells. I love Strifo Pile so much, this deck freaking rules. I played it on the channel a few times, and it's always a good time. Tough beats for this one. I would have rather been Elves against this particular matchup. Let's keep going. You come here to level up at Magic. To level up as a software engineer, check out the new YouTube series Dev Better, hosted by the founder of 7 Factor Software and Magic player, Jeremy Duvall. 7 Factor's small teams of high-performing engineers build custom mobile apps, APIs, and highly scalable systems for Fortune 500 companies and ambitious startups with great ideas. If you'd like to hire 7 Factor, or maybe join their team, contact them through their website at 7factor.io. And don't forget to subscribe to 7 Factor's YouTube for every episode of Dev Better. I'm on the play round two against some Yorion pile. Yorion is more likely to be a five color Zenith deck or a Cephalid Breakfast deck than it is to be Death and Taxes these days, but Death and Taxes is always live. My hand is perfectly acceptable. Let's once upon a time. Ooh, five for five. What do I want out of this? Uh, it's probably Grist. You know, accelerating with Spirit Guide is kind of fun, but I'm not really going anywhere. Yeah, I'll just take Grist. And I'm going to fetch Bayou and Zenith for zero. Out comes Dryad Arbor, and let's figure out what flavor of Yorion you are. I'm rooting for the five color Zenith version. That's the. It's kind of the same deck as me, but slow. Okay. Uh, this does not rule out any of them. Any of the things I said could have done this. Also, like. Spur Vile is a deck that exists. I think I want to put Reclaimer into play. Like, I could play Oof, or I could just have Reclaimer active next turn. Yeah, Re Oof is the kind of card I want to save for when I know it's going to get a good hit. If this is Death and Taxes, this thing happened as our deck slowed down. Okay, not Death and Taxes. They wouldn't play this card. As Elves slow down into this different type of deck, Death and Taxes used to be the hilarious like 90-10 matchup for elves, and now it's much closer because this is not an elf deck, it's a mid-range creature deck, which Death and Taxes is just fine against. Okay, I can play Collector Oof and then Zenith for zero. Or I could Zenith for one and have Cradle in play. I could get Shepherd. I could get Reclaimer. I don't think Oof's going to be great against this Field of the Dead deck. This looks like some sort of Primeval Titan Zenith nonsense. I'm going to Zenith for one. The Caracas is really cramping my style on getting Fiend Artisan in play. Birds of Paradise Reclaimer. Those are the, the serious considerations here. I think it's Reclaimer, and I'll play Cradle. Now they're Source of Plowshares. They really got my number on that one. Come on, way to put Grist on the stack. Not quite. But it is a play. Got plays to make here. And let me get this Oof down. Oof at least turns on Cradle. Now they need two removal spells to Stone Rain me again. Tundra. Oh my god. Relentless. Four spot removal spells. All four spot removal spells being Exile as well means that Fiend Artisan hasn't grown at all. Despite three... Four creatures dying. That's the turn. They've seen Grist. I think I just want to get Grist active here. I can't hard cast Force of Will yet. 
Having been on the other side of Grist and Control Decks enough times, I know that this is not a card that you really want in play for any amount of time. They're making moves. So they have Force of Negation or like Counterspell, Dovin's Veto. What are we doing here? They have Venser to go with that Caracas. That would be sick. I wouldn't like it, but it would be sick. Iga. Not Counterspell. It's Ice Fang Coatl, sure. We did not spike the Force of Will or whatever we were looking for there. Make an insect. I milled an endurance. Now there is a creature in my graveyard. Quaddle is not even close to death touch, so I'm getting in for my two. Four lands in play, zero of them are snow. Tundra honorary snow land, but doesn't actually count. If it was the third snow land, I'd give it to him. But as as the first one, no. Matic ending, the fifth exile based spot removal spell and wasteland, my god. My opponent is not playing. It's the land drop, though. This is where I can start to pull ahead. Reachers have a lot of value in my deck between the Fiend Artisan and the Cradles. I'm not going to trade off Insect Token for something that already drew a card. I think I can do better with that. Now I can Zenith for one, grab a Reclaimer, or just play Birds of Paradise and invest in the future. I'm going to Bird. This Caracas continues sucking every ass. Another Coatl. They do count each other. Now there's. Two snow permanents in play. Three other snow permanents. So now there's one snow permanent in play for the purposes of Death Touch. Double block collector oof. I would let you do that. Endurance. Okay. What does this do? We can just attack with insect and oof now. Now, if they want to trade with a creature, they can no matter what I attack with. So I might as well push the extra point. Okay, they took the trade and the two damage. I think it's time to get Fiendy. Again, casting it for Black Black for style. In my air quotes, green deck. Three swords of plowshares and two prismatic endings are in the graveyard. Opponent, I'd like you to take it easy on me. I feel like they're probably a land away from Solitude or something. If they are a four or five color Zenith deck, I mean, I can see four colors in play, so they're at least a four color deck. This Caracas and Field of the Dead are hurting them as much or more as my Caracas is hurting me. Okay, here is a Zenith for two. Keeping the Coatl train rolling. Found a land. Disappointing. I found a land. Not disappointing. I can Fiend for three. Uh, that I could get Opposition Agent. Chris is already spent. I don't like Cathar. Arkhan of Amir is kind of funny. I don't know if it's helpful. I do feel like if I can slide an Oppo in on this opponent... We're going to have a good time. X is three. Let's see if they respond to X is three in the main deck by fetching. Ooh wee. Cuckoo ka -choo. Here's opposition agent against your fetch land green sun zenith deck. Hope that's good. And with so many removal spells already in the graveyard, let's hope that Oppo gets to stick for a little while. I think they would have taken out Fiend Artisan last turn if they could. Wasting my bayou. Okay. We're getting sweaty. Art is being cast. Oh, Yorian's going into the hand. Sure. Okie dokie. I can Zenith for one and play Bird, or Zenith for two. I could grab another Fiend Artisan. Zenith for one can get Reclaimer. Really don't want this Yorian to come into play, but I'm not convinced I can do anything about it. And yeah, not really. I do have a 3-3 three, three I can attack with. I'll start there. Back for three. And I'm going to Zenith for one and play Bird. It just gets the most objects into play. Claimer is 3-4. Is that better than Shepard? I hope so. I can find Cradle on subsequent turns. Okay, here we are. Please don't find your land for Yorion. I really don't want you drawing two cards next turn. I believe I've navigated the game to the place where I'm ahead, and I, I think if they brick on one more turn of casting Yorion, I'm in good shape. Fetchland doesn't help. They need to draw an actual untapped source of mana and put it into play. Yeah! Windswift Teeth. Main deck oppo. Hard mode. <laughs> you got a collector roof too. We've both drawn our collector roof in the matchup with no artifacts. Another bird. I can Fiend Artisan. I can play bird and Fiend Artisan for three. Or for two. Or I could just Fiend Artisan for three. 
or I could spend another turn sculpting and fiend artisan for GG next turn. That sounds a good idea. I'm going to play this bird of paradise. I'm going to pass the turn. My plan is to survive this turn cycle and then fiend artisan for greater hoof and just smear. And I don't really care about Yorion now. Other fetch land, let's go. That opposition agent good for at least three cards that we can see. Elvish Reclaimer, spin this forest into Cradle. As much as I've been ragging on the Caracas, at this point, with the Orion bearing down, I'm not mad about it. Right, Arbor, cool. Seven, eight, nine. Fiend Artisan. Activate this, buddy. Sacrifice Dryad Arbor. You could get, like, Dress Down here. But, nah. There's my hoof. There you are. Big hoofy. And I'm going to attack. Yeah! Alright, cool. Tacky little fiend artisan snuck it in. This is some sort of creature-based land, heavy land control deck. Collector Oof can come out. Brutal Cathar. I can imagine spots where it's good. It almost was good that in that spot we were just in. I like Shriek Maw better than that. Better than Oof. Um, the Swords to Plowshares. I don't know if this deck comes out fast enough that I'd want Swords to Plowshares against it. There's a bigger Mass Vandal. This is probably a Progenitus matchup. What's my cut there? Marin is definitely not getting cut. That's one of the best cards in the deck. I'm not sure if this opponent is using their graveyard. They might have a loam or something. Uh, they probably have Uro, but I don't think I need four endurance against them. I'm just going to go in light like this. Once again, just, just seasoned to taste, but the recipe is already good. Sounds great. I'm going to keep it. I'm expecting an abundant growth here. Yep. That's kind of the nut draw. Prismatic Vista for forest and put abundant growth on it all on turn one. Good stuff. Now the choice is Zenith for Arbor or play the first Reclaimer. I think the mana advantage of Arbor is worth pursuing, and I have multiple Zeniths. Reclaimer is not ramp right away, it's ramp later, assuming I still have creatures to spin Cradle up. Or Supply Shares, yep. After waiting through six of those last game, I'm ready. I'm going to fetch, and I'm going to play both of the Reclaimers. Or do I want to play Reclaimer and Zenith? Then I don't have Zenith. I do have Reclaimer. Black cards versus white cards. There's a white card in my hand. But it's not one I'm in a hurry to slam into play. Black card upside is Grist, an Oppo agent. I think I'm going to get the white land. Reclaimer. Here they are. Pile them up. They've got a fetch land. Three mana plays in their deck. Don't know what sweepers they're going to have. I could probably pull up on Goldfish, whatever the stock version of Five Color Zenith is, and figure it out. But I'm just going to do this raw. They just put Yorion in hand. Not a bad way to spend mana. Land off the top. Yeah. Always had it. I'm going to fetch, make my creatures humongos. And I'm going to Zenith for Fiend Artisan. Okay. And then I'm going to bash for six. If I'm just running my stuff out into Supreme Verdict, fuck me. But it was either Zenith for Fiend Arsene in main phase or hold up Endurance in case I get Wrath and I can continue the pressure. Medic ending, okay. Yeah, just spending two mana to answer a 1-1 one -one when I'm attacking for six, hell yeah. Uh, this is an extremely telegraphed Ice Fang Quaddle, which does have Death Touch at this point. And just spin up another fiend artisan and not attack or i could test you i could also just not test you i could zenith for dryad arbor and hold up reclaimer activation zenith is like my best card do i really want to just dryad arbor with it i don't think that that's bad that is that bad um i really just don't want to lose my creature to a Waddle, but am I ever going to be able to play through that? Not really. I'm just going to Zenith for another Artisan. And I'm going to pass the turn. I'm not doing it. Yep. Here's that. 
I mean, attacking with Reclaimer and getting the trade pushes three damage and means that Yorion doesn't draw as many cards they cast it this turn. But I don't think that's worth the, the price you pay. Especially if your opponent's missing land drops. All right, this attack tells me they're either about to Wrath or they have a second Quaddle. Oh, okay. They had the second main land, and they're just going to flicker Quaddle. That's the other option. A Wasteland's kind of a bummer. You have Cathar that can clear Yorion, but then if they ever kill the Cathar, they get to Yorion again. Not exactly inspiring. Another Zenith. And Cathar is the removal spell in the deck. I'm going to cast it. Yeah, this is getting kind of unfortunate because... If I had attacked last turn, they'd be at 9 right now. I would have drawn one card instead of two. I Cathar the Yorion. Attack for 5. They're at 4 with no permanents in play. Or no creatures. Yeah, I probably should have made this attack last turn. I am going to make it this turn. Now with Yorion under the, under the Cathar, I want to reduce the number of permanents in play. Yeah, I think I'm missing a chance to get aggressive there. It's got too smart. Play around a thing that's probably better if I play into it. When it's at 7, I could have them at three right now. Matic ending. Yep, you get to Yorion again. That is what I was worried about, but I'm glad I made the attack. At least they don't get two cards. And they took a bunch of damage. Didn't use their Wasteland. Oh, okay. I can Zenith for 4 now? Or... One, two, three, four, five, yeah, four. You know what that means. Just the best creature in the whole deck. Zenith for four time. And the value engine is online. Let's go. Please don't counter this. Oh, boo. Boo. Fine. I will simply pass the turn. And they have a wasteland for the cradle. They choose to use it. And step endurance. Yep. They're my graveyard. That puts Zenith back into my deck. There's only one creature in there. There goes Cradle. Right Arbor. Yorion getting scrappy. And I do have Endurances of my own. I can start to turtle up. I don't really like Shepard here. Yeah, I'm just going to pass with Reclaimer activation or Endurance available. I think getting Cradle is my priority. Unless they cast like Loam or Ramanap Excavator or something, then I need to hit their graveyard. Plague Engineer. Imagine you name Nightmare here. Um, I can Endurance to make Artisan a 2 2. A huge spew. Do I think Artisan is better than two Endurances? Probably. Or I can. Yeah, I'm gonna pitch the, the Shepherd. I'm going to hit their graveyard. This looks like an Uro deck. It just named Elf. There are only two cards in the deck that that kills now that I've pitched one of them. I'm going to take the Endurance Beats and booter up Cradle this turn. Backing my basic. Dice Cradle. Oh, oh, oh! The Queen arrives. Unfortunately, there's a lot of damage in the air just waiting. In Marin regrowing Endurance, because they did pivot and name Elf. Alright, I'm gonna play Marin. She can tangle with Endurance in combat. I do like that. This makes Fiend Artisan 1-1. One, one. I can just pitch the Endurance, make it 2-2 two, two again, if that's important. And I can trade off pretty aggressively in combat here, because... Or just chump lock because Marin will put this creature directly back into play once I get some experience. Cool. I'm at two. Marin. Need you to carry. Is this a card I want to put into play? It does fly. I don't think so. If Marin re grows Reclaimer, I have three, four, five. It's enough for one endurance. Not two. Yeah, I'll just go to my end step and. Regrow, Reclaimer. Straight into play. Look at all the experience I have. Abundant growth, okay. In Swords to Plowshares, I gain enough life to stay alive. Force of Will, I just lose. Right, cast Endurance. Mana's being tapped. We're in trouble. 
Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, it was just not fast enough, that game. I wonder if Plow's supposed to be in. I still am not convinced on that, though. Plague Engineer on Snake is really interesting, because Kowaddle is the thing that stabilized that game and made it a problem for me. I have Cathars and Treak Maws that can tangle with that, or I could just go huge over the top with Hoof. There's nothing I really want to cut to make room for Plague Engineer. I could cut one of the Sheps. They do clearly still have counter spells in their deck, but I can Zenith for that if I want it. I'm going to try this. I'll keep my hand. I don't think I'm in the business of zap just zapping out a Fiend Artisan on turn one. And a Shepherd. And if I have a Shepherd in play, Spirit Guy gets a lot more interesting. Ponder, you got it. Also got to watch the clock. We're both at, in the eight minute range. This has been a really grindy one. Zenith, that's of a thrill. Second Shepherd. Cradle, Artisan. Back for one. Now we're doing elf stuff. I have two shepherds in my deck, and they're both in play right now. Good stuff. Coatl is not big enough, or it is not death touch. It is just a one one though, which is enough to tangle. I can zenith for a gajigazillion. That's a real number. Look it up. And I get a freebie on bird, because then cradle pays for that. One two three four. I could get Marin and then just attack with everything. It's actually pretty sweet. It just punches into Waddle and I don't even care. I might like this card too much, but if that's wrong, I don't want to be right. In we go. Give me your Kowaddle. And I said it might not come up much, but it is there. Activating Allosaur Shepherd is live for a lot of damage right now. I have the six. And that is a huge creature coming in. Or a huge pair of creatures. They have to block Fiend Artisan. Anything else they block would simply come back immediately. Artisan at least comes back to my hand and I have to replay it. But maybe they'll mess up. Gotta hope for the best here. Sucks I don't have a green card to pitch to Endurance for the blowout. Just make it a 2 2. Got him. Then I get Endurance back in the end step. Oh, no blocks. Okay. Realized resistance is futile. They're probably looking for white source and swords to plowshares to clear Marin before they try any other nonsense. Under shuffled. Go to discard. Go to discard. Your turn. Not go to discard. Fine. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you don't say. Um, I could evoke Shriek Maw. Briefly have six creatures in play is enough to tap Cradle and activate the Sheps. And I'm going to stack the, the kill trigger first. I'm going to float six. And Shriekma is going to die. I get an experience counter, which will recur Shriekma later. I'm going to Shep up here. Five fives. That makes Fiend Artisan lar larger as well. Suddenly, you're facing exactly lethal. Let's go. A second Kawaddle does have Death Touch and can trade with Marin, but they're still taking a giant punch load here. That was a cool play. Shriekma and Legacy, who knew? They do have the second Quaddle. That's fine. You're still going to a very small life total. All right, here we go. You have a Sweeper or a Stabilizer of some kind. That Plague Engineer would kill my most of my board and leave them at one because they have to fetch black off windswept teeth and i can activate the sheps again just with what's in play four off cradle one off land one off bird okay here we go oh no do they have it they do okay there aren't that many elves in my deck but they just hit a bunch of them uh, that's just the worst draw there is um what do i want to do about this is there anything in my deck that i can one two Three. I could cash in Bird for Brutal Cathar. Try to win next turn. They don't have any white mana. All right, I'm going in here. You know, Artisan doesn't trample, right? It does not. Okay. Okay, we got Brutal Cathar. Is Grist better? My opponent is at one. Archon of Amiria flies. Probably Grist. Yeah, that also keeps the Cradle flush. All right, I'm pivoting onto Grist. Okay, go. 
Yeah, Grist keeps Fiend Artisan active for several turns, keeps pooping out creatures to tap for mana with Cradle and also to feed to the Artisan. Windshot Sniper would have won that game on the spot. Come on, Elf community. What are you doing? Give me a burn creature. Birds of Paradise. Okay. That does block. Red mana. Still not white mana. Oh, what are we doing for four? Oh, this is a zenith. Okay. We're both in the danger zenith zone. Uh, you're back up to four life. I've been hit sitting on this endurance for the whole game. Oh no, wasteland. That sucks. The opponent's at four. And Grist can ultimate next turn and just kill them. Yeah, I think I want to play to Grist ultimate. Probably should have endurance first to make sure it worked. Okay, we're in there. Hit my opponent with endurance. And it's going to pass. White mana, disappointing. Oh, they prismatic ended the wrong thing, unless they're also clearing my graveyard this turn. It's going to boo. This shit has trample. No. Um, do you have a good attack? Yeah, coming after Grist. God damn it. Okay, that worked out really well for them. I'm not going to block, because it doesn't matter. Ugh. Fucking blue decks, man. It can just do everything. Not even fair. All right, I'm going to attack my opponent with all my creatures. They get to kill an insect, but they lose their... Oh, right, they're at four now. <laughs> Got there at four. Yeah, we're just, we're just dead. Ah that was so close. Another plague engineer. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Yeah, the arrow spiking wasteland, having multiple removal spells into Minsk and Boo. I don't know how long they've been sitting on this white source, but they found it. Good stuff at the end there, but yeah, that was that was exciting for a while. This video is sponsored by Moxfield.com, the easiest way to build magic decks online. Moxfield supports over 30 formats, including legacy and every other format you'll see on this channel. They have multiple customizations so you can view your deck how you want. Text view, stacks, grid, custom grouping by type, subtype, color, light mode, dark mode. However you want to see your deck, they can provide it for you. My favorite feature is you can choose your set printing, make the deck look exactly how you want it to. The deck screen features expandable sections that show you what tokens your deck makes, your recent change history to the deck, stats about mana curve and opening hand distribution, mana cost distribution. You can deal out sample hands and even play test the deck. Island Ponder. You know I'm keeping this one. This site has everything. Follow me on Moxfield.com to keep up with decks I'm playing for the channel and what I'm up to in paper. I'll see you there. I'm on the draw for round three. I'm going to keep. My hand does stuff. I can curve Reclaimer into Artisan. My opponent's up to no good. I have Endurance. And Archon if the game lasts that long. Blood St. Meyer. Looks like it's going to be a quick game. One way or the other. Unmask. Targeting me. Bummer. They mull to five. I always hope they unmask themselves. But looks like they are. Their last two cards in hand. Gotta be in Tomb Reanimate. Or Dark Ritual Doomsday. I don't know. What's going on over there? Faithless Looting. Oh, wow. That was a uh, pretty all-in hand. This could still go wrong for them. Grizzlebrain in the Graveyard. Hope they didn't spike the animation spell. Or that I do spike a second endurance. Just raw dogging Bajuka Bog here would be great. That did not happen. Okay. I need to fade a reanimation spell for one turn. Bajuka Bog is in my deck. Fingers crossed they did not have a deterministic win here. They don't have reanimate or they don't have the land for exhume or animate dead. All right. Now any animate spell is live. Oh no, stop! That's the turn. Cast Faithless Looting. I don't know. God damn. Alright, well, I can take a hit next turn, spin up in Caracas, and then uh, try to stabilize from there, I guess. Oh, this was so miserably close. I win this game on the play. I put Reclaimer in before the Unmask, and then Bajookabog is up on this turn. They needed their one of their top three cards to be a, a reanimate spell. And the one they found was Animate Dead, which means that they passed the turn last turn with just Animate Dead in their hand and needed to draw a mana source this turn. Wow. 
I'm not saying this is outrageous or like completely out of the realm. Like they clearly know what their range of capable hands is in their deck, but fucking A. Could have gone my way a million different ways. And now they're about to bring back Archon, which clears. Yeah, whatever. It was close. I even had the endurance, but they did what they needed to do. Good job. Playline of the Void, for sure. Do I bring in Mind Break Trap to stuff not draws? Or is that too far towards the plowshares? Is just a thing that could buy me some time if a monster gets in. Collector Oof can go out. I like Once Upon a Time because it can dig for Endurances and Bajooka Bogs. Aaron, there's not going to be time for that. Sorry, girl. You know I love you. Greater Huff, I don't think there's going to be time for that either. And if I'm not hoofing, do I need to be natural ordering? Playing value here. If I do this, I get another card. Rikma, all their creatures are black. Force of Vigor could hit an animate dead, but ugh, don't like that. Deafening Silence could slow them down. Okay. This looks good enough for me. Let's try it. I can see worlds where you argue for Mind Break Trap. I can see arguments for more Deafening Silence. Upkeep. I have Leyline and Endurance. No lands, but I have Once Upon a Time. Need to find one in my top five. Found. Even found the Bajuka Bug, which is not what I'm looking for here, but it is fun that I found it. I get Bayou and a Elvish Reclaimer. Send it. Okay, they got a clear Leyline and then also clear Endurance before I get anything going. They could unmask me and reanimate Opposition Agent. That would actually be kind of annoying. That shuts down a lot of my deck. Scrubland Pass. Just a land is the best draw on my deck right now. That's a good land too. Okay. I'm going to play Caracas and just pass the turn. So do I need to pass the turn? Because if I get Reclaimer in now, or is spinning up Cradle still better than that? They have the tear. I'm glad I didn't attack with Reclaimer. Yeah, leaving, not casting the second Reclaimer means that I can spin up a Juka Bog and they have to get through Endurance. And if they do none of those things, I can just grab Cradle and start going big. It was looting. Okay. And if I do have to, well, I'm going to spin up a land one way or the other, whether it's Cradle or Bog to be determined. But I'm sacking the Caracas either way. I just don't want monsters in play. I don't want to have to bounce a grizzle brand. Just want them not around at all. Bajuka Bog does that. All right. I hope I don't get Dark Ritual Opposition agent Agented. I'm going to sack Caracas for Cradle. I has Cradle. Any land gives me Endurance this turn on the hard cast or Oppo Agent, both of which are real good. Didn't draw the land. I'm going to play the other Reclaimer. I can still spin up a Juka Bog and pitch cast Endurance. This time I'd sack Bayou. It's a black source and now I have tons of green. There is enough mana here to attempt an animation. Let me bog them and then ritual, etc. What does this do? I mean, pretty annoying. I have the Brutal Cathar in my hand, but that's not actually helpful. I guess I just have to spin up basic forest here or I could spin up bog anyway and then just clear the graveyard play on mountains I can spin up basic forest next turn or, yeah let's just bog you while I can this also turns on the reclaimers they're three fours yeah moon magus certainly does turn off parts of my deck does one forest help me or should I just be bashing I'm gonna bash let's go Race my endurance. Take six. I could definitely lose this game, like pretty easily, actually. If they just have Unmask and Tomb Reanimate from here. Did clear two Faithless Lootings, though, with that Bajuka Bog. That was pretty high value. Two Faithless Lootings and a Reanimate target. That was pretty good stuff. Started two Wear Tears. Run a lot of that. They boarded in at least three. Probably safe to assume that Leyland of the Void is one of my options. Did bring in the Plows, right? Yeah, I did. So I do have the plan that I have access to that can angle with Magus of the Moon, just like Float White and 
and zap it after it comes in. That card is a problem. Discarded reanimate and dark ritual. Did not find a monster. I'm gonna take another hit for six. Drop down to seven. And then the card reanimate doesn't work anymore. It has to be one of the other cards. I'm just gonna bash. I'm not messing around. If I had taken if I had attacked with one of these creatures each turn, I could have spun up a forest, spun up another forest, and be, could be representing hardcast endurance next turn. Like I could have cast this other reclaimer. I think Voidwalker. Okay. That's an alternate win condition. Like there's another path I could have gone where chase my two basics and try to get something going. It's not the path I'm on, though. I'll put you to one. Voidwalker has shadow, so it can't block my creatures. Your three card hand has to put a monster in the graveyard, reanimate it, and beat endurance. The other thing they can do. Okay, leaving back Voidwalker is scary. What does that mean? They have to. If they're still alive somehow, if they have to block with Magus, then my hand unlocks and I'm just going crazy. Okay, cool. 3 4 beat down, Elvish Reclaimer. Is there on? Not the Voidwalker, Magus the Moon, air stuff. That's really interesting. Force of Vigor does not clear Magus of the Moon. That doesn't help. Freak Maw will... I don't have any... Well, I have four Birds of Paradise in the deck. I could just shrug off Magus that way. Voidwalker's interesting. I don't really have a plan for Dothy Voidwalker. Like, it's just a creature. I think I'm going in with the same deck. I could Mind Break Trap now that I'm on the draw. Which is kind of like Deafening Silence, but different. But costs zero mana. That was kind of a flex slot anyway. Now between the two ley lines and Mindbreak tra Trap, I have three things that can interact on turn zero. Well, plus the Endurances. And the Once Upon a Time for Endurance. There's a lot, actually. I don't think I want to make room. Well, Archon of Emeria and Brutal Cathar. I really like... Cathar, if I can get it into play, and it, well, that hits the Voidwalker. Archon, Archon's kind of slow and shitty. Maybe I do just want to minimize nut draws. Okay, this is what I'm doing. Don't know if it's right, but it's what's happened. Uh, well, both mind break traps kind of rough. I like the Birds of Paradise a lot, though. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I wish this was one trap, one ley line, but I'm in. And I mauled, or I had ley line last game, so they might maul to a slower hand that can remove ley line, which I just don't have. Kind of sweet. And having double trap means that discard spell doesn't punch the way. Oh, this might be copium, but here are these mind break traps. One, go for it. In tomb, in tomb. Dark ritual, dark ritual. Oh my god. Oh. Turn one Dothy Voidwalker. Okay. Supporting. Okay. Uh, creatures. Put a stop to this. Whatever this is. Uh, I'm going to fetch Basic Forest. And play Birds of Paradise. This gives me Oppo Agent on turn two. Is Voidwalker just a necessary juke against decks full of Ley Lines and Endurances? Seems so... Shitty. I'm going to pass and hope they entomb in the end step. They did not entomb in the end step. Swords of Plowshares is pretty cool, though. Oh my god, this fetch land. Please fetch. In the second main, you need red for your faithless looting, right? Crack your fetch, crack your fetch. All right, I'm going to Swords of Plowshares. That's mana inefficient, but I'm just checking boxes here. If I... Stop taking three a turn. They're going to have to crack their fetch lander cast and into him at some point. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pass again. I would love to deploy all these things. I'm going to oppo this turn, whether they fetch or into him or not. And then I can get buck with my, all my one drops. I'm taking my finger off the pass priority button. Just make sure I don't accidentally talk my way through Bloodstained Mire. Please cast into him. Thoughtseize, boo. Black, one, two. Okay. Well, the good news about Thoughtseize is that it's a spell. So if they entomb reanimate, that'll be Mind Break Trap. 
and they can't get a monster into play this turn. Did fetch in response to Oppo. Figured out that one. Spell number one. I'll probably take my Zenith. Yep. They didn't entomb in response to Oppo. They just fetched. I'll take that straight to the bank. Oh, speaking of the bank. Put that in it. Uh, I am not going to ask Shepard because endurance is really important. And then starting next turn, I can hard cast Mindbreak Trap. I don't care about Magus of the Moon at all right now. The two birds and the basic just do whatever I want. I just untapped into Mindbreak Trap. And for three. With the endurance in hand, I don't think I want a Mindbreak Trap. I'm going to get my Shepard in while I can. And I can, if they don't make me endurance, I can once upon a time. We're just really starting to run away with it here. One spell. Okay, just slowly putting the things into play one at a time. We got a fiver on once upon a time. Yeah, I think I'll just grab endurance. Put you on notice. You don't know about the one in my hand already. I do. The cradle would be sick. Another bird. Okay, not a cradle, but I'll take it. Backing with my creatures. I'm not going to play this bird. This gives me hard cast endurance and pitch cast endurance and mind break trap. If I play the bird, I only get one endurance. And if they turn on mind break trap, I'd rather just make a thousand percent sure I don't lose right now. In this case, though, I'm going to push for damage. Probably should have targeted myself with endurance because all these cards are good. Riddle for the win. One, two, three, four, five. I'm one short of just winning right now. They're at basically no life, though. I can hard cast Mind Break Trap and pitch cast Endurance, or just hard cast Endurance. We need some kind of sweeper here to just get caught up, and Deluge would kill them. Fire Covenant would kill them. I'm just saying random words now. Hieroclasm doesn't save them because I have a 3 4, and there are two. All right, we got one. We're on the board. Opponent with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One mana short of casting Grizzlebrand. That's pretty sick. I would have just trapped it. Okay. Um, I was saying in the previous round that death and taxes went from unlosable to kind of close, maybe unfavored. Reanimator was the opposite. Reanimator was unwinnable, and now it's probably heavily favored. If not heavily, certainly the needle's in our direction. But we're on the board. Let's go. We're a few rounds into the video. Thanks for sticking with me. Friendly reminder that if you're still here and having fun, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to play what I'm playing, you can use my affiliate link for TCG Player to support the channel while you shop for cards. And you can try any deck anytime with a cardhoarder.com loan account for Magic Online. All these links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. I'm on the draw in round four against Boonslayer. Who is a fan of the channel in the chat? Okay, Poon Slayer. Please don't slay my Poon, I guess. I'm going to keep this hand. It's got a plan ramp and then natural order. Uh oh. Underground Sea. Birds of Paradise. Let it rip. They did shuffle the ponder. That's good news. And a brainstorm. Uh oh. Someone did an island ponder keep and it didn't work. Okay. I can hold up Endurance, but I think I'll do better waiting. Green Sun Zenith for two is a way I can go here. Or I can do it for one and play around days. Let's look at my deck while I'm in here. I could get Collector Oof and just shut off Lotus Petal or anything that might help them get out of this mana situation they're in. I could just get Fiend Artisan. That's a pretty good two drop that my deck contains. I could play around days and get Allosaurus Shepherd and then not just load up on this natural order. I think clearing the runway for natural order is pretty tempting. I guess I didn't need to uh, play a land in that case. Yeah, I should have thought this through more. I'm not going to make a bad play just to cover my mistake. I'm strongly considering if I should get oof here. No, I, I do want the, the Shepherd. In which case, I should have just tapped the bird in the land and then played Dried Arbor. Okay, worse it will, sure. I did not get a choice to make a decision about that, so rewarded, I guess. Horse pitched ponder. 
Okay, they must have more cantrips because they're brainstorm locked and just chucked a ponder. Dark ritual. Doomsday. All right. That also shuffles away brainstorm cards. I am holding the endurance, and they were right to force my zenith because endurance would have been uncounterable. Okay, what's in the pile? Force of will. Force of will. Force of will. There is a force of will in the pile or in the hand. Does affect my endurance. Okay. Oh, we're just going right now. Well, the LED piles don't work against force of will. Oh, but they still have their land drop, which is cradle this turn. Yeah, yeah, you can't force of will with uh, an LED pile. A double oracle. But yeah, if at any point they use this diamond. Oh, the oracle is in the graveyard. Okay, this is cool. Deep analysis from nothing. Lotus petal, sure. They did make a double oracle pile. I'm going to pitch Dryad Arbor as my green card because I still have hopes for this natural order. Uh, I didn't need to scoop to that because, I mean, they're at four, and if I present any damage, they die. But, like, redrawing Lotus Petal, Underground Sea, Thassa's Oracle does, does play the game. All right. Got one against Doomsday. I feel like I probably want Deafening Silence. This is not a card that I'm excited about against Doomsday, but it does play. And Mindbreak Trap also has text. Don't love Leyline. That actually makes it so Endurance doesn't beat them. Marin, too grindy. Collector Oof, not the worst. Brutal Cathar, they don't have any creatures. I don't think I really need to hoof this opponent. I just need to make sure I'm not dead long enough to scrap, and that means I don't need Natural Order either. Cradle control experts can let me know if this natural order cutting business I've been into is defensible or not. Gris doesn't do much. Oppo agent S tier. Archon's fine. Don't really need Bajuka Bog. I could sneak. Like if I cut Grist and Bajuka Bog, I can get two natural orders and a hoof back in in case I need to put the gas on. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's do it. Okay, my hand is full of sideboard cards. Let's try it. I'm going to keep. My opponent said in the chat they forgot to hold priority last game. Uh, and you still managed to present uh, an oracle. Yeah, I'm not sure what difference that would have made because the LED was cracked all the same. You still lose the force of will and I still endurance. Maybe the second oracle is in the deck instead of in the graveyard. I guess that's probably what happened. Under chose to shuffle again. And Deafening Silence was Mind Break Trap is a fucking combo, let me tell you. Anyway, here's Deafening Silence. I hope you fight over it. Didn't fight over it. Mind Break Trap, <laughs> looking smart. But Basic Island, followed up by Deafening Silence, means Doomsday is not going to happen until at least turn four. This is probably going to take Fiend Artisan. Yep, Fiend Artisan out of here. That's your spell for the turn. I can Zenith for one Dried Arbor, fetch the other, and start beating down. That also juices up Cradle and Natural Order. Or I can just make land drops, and I could also Zenith for one. Get Reclaimer in the mix here, which is a pretty doughy creature, but that turns on days. Yeah, I'm just going to Zenith for zero. The fact that the Arbors do double duty with the Cradle in my hand and Natural Order chilling while attacking against a deck that cares deeply about its life total. I like it. Oh, I should have fetched. If they just play a land and oppo agent. Okay, personal tutor. Are they going for doomsday? All right, they are. I, I was just wondering if there was like some tech sorcery, like shrivel or something that would blow me out here. I can try it, Arbor. One, two, three, four. I can, but natural order on the stack with one untapped creature and a bunch of damage. It's fascinating they missed their land drop. They must be planning to clear Deafening Silence, untap Dark Ritual Doomsday, because you can't Dark Ritual Doomsday with Silence in play, but they just tutored for a card they can't cast, as far as I can tell. Okay, what cards are in my deck? Can't natural order for 
opposition agent. That's the one I would like. Right, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to go for the hoof and do a bunch of damage. Of course it will. You got it. That's your spell for the turn. That means that Deafening Silence is in play. Thank you for one. Let's see a Dark Ritual pass the turn. All right, Lotus Petal pass the turn. Slow and steady. Putting the Doomsday in their hand while they still can. I respect it. They could cast Opposition Agent here. But I'm going to run my Dryad Arbor in. Because if they do that, then I can fetch and I at least see it coming. Cool. Didn't happen. Birds of Paradise. We're halfway to casting this Mind Break Trap. The hard way. Doomsday can be placed on the stack at this point. Yep, you got it. Cycling is not a spell. If they make a stack that's like Wraith, Wraith, Edge of Autumn, they could present a an Oracle next turn. Street Wraith, one. They did bring in their Oppos. Two. There are two Street Wraiths in Exile. There are no Edge of Autumns in Exile. That's still live for them. Thassa's Oracle is a creature as well. They can cast a spell, Cycle Cycle Oracle, all at once. There are multiple oppos in the deck that I can see here. I'm going to fetch my Bayou and hope I draw Endurance. Oh, Sword Shepherd, are you helpful? I don't think so. Or Lethal next turn. If they made a pass the turn pile, I can win. If they didn't, I lose. You know I have Mind Break Trap. One, two, three, four, five, fetch, six. Okay. I can keep my land back as some secret. I don't remember if they saw this Mystery Rainforest off the Thoughtseize or not. I'm just hoping they didn't. Okay. They are doing the cycle thing. Two Edge of Autumns in the deck. Yeah, two cards in the deck and Oracle for Xaxes. Yep, that'll do. Okay. You got me. Yeah, Mind Break Trap pretty awkward. Not gonna lie. I think it's still... Kind of one of the better things I can do, though. Like, it does stuff, not draws, and give me a chance. I, I was one turn away there. Okay, back in. Do it. Uh, I'm changing my mind. I'm bringing in some swords to plowshares I, to respect the opposition agent, because that's not a card I can reasonably beat. And mind Breach Trap sucks. Deafening Silence still pretty cool, though. Okay, this is a lot of ramp. No specific fast interaction. I am going to keep, though. I'm going to Zenith for zero rather than cast Birds of Paradise because Opposition Agent is a card in their deck and if I can get two of my searches out of my hand first and then Birds of Paradise, Reclaimer, Shepherd can dance around Oppo if necessary. I'm going to mold to six. Uh, Bayou's better than Savannah here. The cool thing about Mind Break Trap is it's a card that your opponent has to respect even if you don't have it. And they saw that I had multiple last game. Love to draw land next turn, especially if it's Gaia's Cradle. Okay, my thoughts. Lost my Shepherd. Okay. That gives them the ability to fight over other stuff. God. They can Dark Ritual Opposition Agent at any point here. I'm going to play Birds of Paradise and Elfish Reclaimer. Here we go. This is Triple Black for Doomsday if they got it. Oh, blue mana's in the pool. I like that. Personal tutor. Go for it. On the doomsday. Do you have the cycle to cast it now? Ponder. Okay, that puts it in the hand. Leaves only two cards left. If they dark ritual doomsday right now, there's only one card left. We did not shuffle with ponder. No surprise there. Okay. Here it comes. One card left in the hand. Uh, once again, I'm trying to top deck endurance. There's not a... Land I can get that helps me, right? Nope. Not a one. I wonder if Pajuka Bog is better than Caracas here. Though they might have Shouldred. Okay. I mean, I saw their sideboard plan last game, and this deck doesn't have Shouldred, but I think if you're going to cut one land that isn't great, at least Caracas comes into play untapped and could bounce Shouldred. Pajuka Bog does very little. I'm probably going to Zenith for Oof this turn, if nothing else changes. Let's try to slow them down a little bit. I'll look at the pile they make, but we're in trouble. I'm not exactly bashing for a lot. The mana didn't come through. Cradle's my best draw. Well, Endurance is my best draw. Cradle is my second best draw. I don't play Choke. That would be a great draw. Okay, what's the verdict here? Relic of Regenitus is out. Lotus Petal's out. 
Mine's Eye Diamond is either still in there somewhere or boarded out. They could make the same pile they did last game of just Cycle Cycle Thoracal, and I'm dead. Okay, Endurance off the top. Elvish Reclaimer, not good. I'm going to Zenith for two, and hope for the best. Okay, just got to hope Lion's Eye Diamond was part of your plan. I am likely deceased, though. Now, one of the Edge of Autumns is in exile here. There's a Street Wraith. That's bad. About to say, a Street Wraith is missing. Okay, yeah, we're just dead to the same cheeky little two cards still in the deck pile. Well, my Poon was slain. Maybe I should have mulliganed differently. There was a lot of flex in the sideboard that I'm not sure I landed in the right spot with. But, uh, yep, GG's. On to the last round. For the absolute best Magic the Gathering apparel on the market, check out the link in the video description to coalesceapparel.shop and be sure to use the code BOSTONROLL for 10% off when you check out. I'm on the play in the final round. I'm trying to salvage the 2-3 the here. I have a turn 2 Elvish Spirit Guide. Or a turn 2 <laughs> Archon of Emeria. I don't have a turn 2 Elvish Spirit Guide. <laughs> but I don't really want that either. Yeah, I will say that this list, or this general archetype, whatever we're calling this, Cradle Control, Fiend Artisan, Toolbox deck, this has gone through a lot of work in the last couple of weeks. And this is one of the wonkier lists that I've seen. Marin of Clan Neltoth, come on. But I don't know exactly how far behind the tech I am right now with this particular list. It would not surprise me to learn that the answer is significantly. And it's all good. I'm also not playing perfectly because I've never done this before. Shame that Cradle can't tap for white also. Can't sneak my Reclaimer in and still Archon this turn. Not even sure I want to Archon this turn. You better believe I'm gonna. Just rules too hard. I've been waiting all day to do something cool with Elvish Spirit Guide. So here it is. This is where I just get Blood Moon and die because I didn't save my Spirit Guide for Poseidon. I'm ready. Well, it would be really hard to Blood Moon me here because they can't Chrome Mox and they can't Ancient Tomb. Feeling good about this Archon. Oh, fuck that. Lightning Bolt. Oh, is this Painter? Wait, what? No. No. Okay, I mean, Fable's better than Blood Moon. This is some, some bullshit, though. Genuine bullshit. Elvish Reclaimer, put this card into play. And I'm going to cast Fiend Artisan. I'm just deciding if I'm going to play Besaju as a land for turn or not. Probably shouldn't. Against whatever they're doing, they're going to have artifacts in to blow up. Goblin's going to be a nightmare, though. That was a really good sequence. <laughs> Lightning Bolt into two mana land. I was so excited. Started Welder and Red Blast. Yeah, it is Painter. To get really good attacks with Goblin here. I mean, I can double block. I lose Reclaimer. But at least this Goblin doesn't go completely apeshit. Lightning Bolt obliterates me, though. Now, I'm just gonna Fiend Artisan for Collector Roof and hope that wins the game. Where's the Saga? Yikes. God, there's so many good cards in this deck. And they're casting Fury right now. Oh my god. Well, there goes all my good cards. Only bad cards remain. Yeah, I get to keep Allosaurus Shepard against the deck with no counter spells in it. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, no, I'm good. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, they're going to start copying Fury. Even, like, I can't Marin this turn, and even if I could, it's not enough against Machine Gun Furies. Well, there's that. I want Force of Vigor, Mast Vandal, Swords to Plowshares. A Shriek Maw, yeah. That would count. Progenitus, I like. We'll see if I have room for Progenitus, but I do like jamming Gigantic Creature into play on low resources against the Lightning Bolt deck. I also like not dying immediately to Grindstone. Like I get another turn or another draw because they combo me. Progenitus is becomes the one card in my deck. Then I draw that and I get another attack. And if I can discard or somehow get Progenitus back into the deck, we're in business. I beat Painter once in real life with Classic Elves by they assembled Painter combo and I had five cards in my hand. 
And in my in their end step, I bounced an elf with Wirewood Symbiote going to six cards. I drew Progenitus after I got comboed out, seven cards. Then I bounced another elf with Wirewood Symbiote to eight cards. And I just discarded Progenitus to hand size for the rest of the game. And they couldn't kill me while they died to my elves. That was awesome. I don't think that's going to happen here, but I had to tell that story. This matchup could get grindy. I'm not sure Marin is the solution, though, but she has a 3-4 versus the Lightning Bolt deck. Brutal Cathar, like, this card's so cool, but I think it's risky. The fact it dies to Lightning Bolt, if I'm, if I take their Painter and I, I'm sitting pretty with this creature that just dies to Lightning Bolt, they can leave, they can sit on Lightning Bolt as long as they want and just free their Painter when they feel like it. I'm bringing in so many better removal spells than that. Endurance also buys me turns if I get comboed while also messing with their, their goblins. Do I shave Hoof if I'm bringing in Progenitus? I like having both, but I don't think I get both here. Archon would have been sweet if it happened. I think I lose a once upon a time and bring in Progenitus, and then this is the squad. Do it. Okay, I'll keep this hand. Mass Vandal is not Reclamation Sage. I do need a creature in the graveyard. This to work. We'll see if my opponent is gracious enough to put one there. I'm going to fetch a basic. They're a Saga deck, which kind of leads them away from Blood Moon, but it doesn't mean they don't have it. Bird plus Forest gets Blood Moon covered. Or Magus the Moon. Damn you, Garfield! Bolted my bird. Basic Forest, Birds of Paradise, Basic Mountain Lightning Bolt, Alpha Magic. Both in terms of the set and the personality type. Elvish Reclaimer's coming in. I drew a fetch land, which means Elvish Reclaimer can get large next turn. Hope to fade a lightning bolt now. And there is a creature in the graveyard for Mass Vandal. Goblin Engineer. Praise the Magic Gods for Endurance. Opal, okay. Cards just in play. Gonna tutor up. I'm not gonna go for Dryad Arbor. I'm gonna get Bayou. That's a fun card. Okay, I'm gonna fetch for Savannah. Attack my opponent for three. And then play Archon. And then try to get scrappy with these endurances. Just endurance every turn and attack for three. Slowly stack up damage as they can't double spell or put lands into play. Yeah, ETB tapped. Great Furnace. Not so great now, are you, Furnace? Mediocre Furnace, more like. High five. They do have Metalcraft. I'm going to attack with my creatures. I can Mass Vandal target the Painter. That doesn't even help, though. I'm just going to pass and hold up Endurance. If they tap this Mox Opal for any reason, I'm firing off the Endurance. Just don't want to get red blasted. Grindstone in play without Painter does threaten a kill. Painter in play without Grindstone does not. But they do currently have enough mana to do both. If I Endurance now, they can flip Mox Opal. Yeah, I gotta chill. A Seiju, that's a good one. No further questions. In for five. And pass the turn. Grindstone's in play. You got it. Didn't activate. Fascinating. Yeah, they actually beat Baseju here, but they don't beat Baseju and Endurance. Here comes the Grindstone activation. And by Baseju Painter, they just flip Grindstone into Painter. Progenitus is in my deck. I can just let them hit me with this. Draw Progenitus. Endurance me, Endurance you, or Endurance me twice. Okay, this hits. Draw Progenitus for turn. You're at 5 life, so you have to block. If you lose either of these creatures, then I can unlock the game. Okay, keeping Painter around. Go to 2. And... I besage you Painter, and then Endurance. Can't counter it. Or I could do it the other way. Yeah. I'm going to cast Endurance, pitching Fiend Artisan. Fiend Artisan is the max large right now. This is my spell for the turn. The Seiju's not a spell. If they Red Blast, 
I can zap the painter. Yeah. Okay. Now my spell's not blue anymore, and they can't reb again in response because they've already cast a spell this turn. Here's in the graveyard. And I actually, do I want the creature in the graveyard or not? I do because I have Mass Vandal. So I'm going to put the Evoke trigger under the, put my deck into my deck trigger. That leaves a creature in the graveyard for Mass Vandal. Regenitus saved the day there. Another painter. All right, we're just going to refire. Well, you're at one. Okay. If they refire now, they've already played their spell for the turn. And I have not. I'm going to pitch Progenitus and Endurance myself again while they can't do anything about it. And then attack for lethal. Okay. That was tight. Freaking painter. I don't think anything changes about my deck. Right back in we go. I've sorts the plowshares. That's exciting. I can Zenith for Oof on turn two. Definitely keeping this hand. Another exciting Elvis Spirit Guide. Dueled interaction. Goblin Welder, you know. Okay. I'm going to draw for my turn, see, get more information before I fire off once upon a time. Natural order. Tell me what happened once upon a time. Opposition agent, Misty Rainforest Endurance. Endurance proved its worth. I, I want that in the mix. Let's face up. Opponent, I have Endurance. And I'm just plowing this creature immediately. I'm not going to get cute against this terrifying monster. Engineer, okay. Raya's Apprentice. Awful. Jugabog off the top. Fiend Artisan. They do need artifacts in play to start making Brea's Apprentices. I think I want to just get Oof here. I buy you Zenith for Oof. I know they have Lightning Bolt in their deck, but putting this, this wall up feels good. There's nothing to flip into Brea's Apprentice currently. That was a really good draw. About to say I'd like to draw land, but especially that one. Okay. Fiend Artisan, which also facilitates a Zenith for one. Zenith for one, let's go. Probably just a Reclaimer. Reclaimer better than Birds of Paradise. Probably, because it turns on Bajuka Bog. They moon me, I get to keep playing. I'm attacking with Oof. Rumble. Oh god, what have I walked into? So Ken's on. All right, fair enough. Uh, hook, line, and sinker on that one. It didn't have any artifacts in play, but uh, yeah, good job. <laughs> I did not play against play around So Ken's on. I still know I'm chilling with endurance here. That's a lot of mana. Am I getting furied? Okay, just fable. Uh, I cannot make that a four toughness. I can make it three. All right, League Engineer. On Goblin shrinks both of these things. It doesn't actually stop them from doing anything. Uh, it do I do get to eat the Goblin in combat. I think that's worth doing to me, but it gets the Brea's Apprentice online, which maybe just shoving Endurance in front of one Shaman token is a better use of my time here. Um, this is this is tricky. If they find a zero mana artifact. I'm going to wish I, or if they find specifically Great Furnace, I'm going to wish I cast Endurance in my main phase. If they have to commit the Goblin to an attack to get an artifact to make Brayo's Apprentice, I'd rather Endurance during combat. They get one redraw. The top, one of the top two cards of their deck has to be Artifact Land. All right. I'm passing the turn. See what they do with Fable. We kept the card. Oh my god, it's an artifact land. Oh, it's just grindstone. This one, all endurance in response. This clears the Brea's apprentice. They're now hellbent. I have the biggest creatures. They are one painter servant away from winning the game. They have the progenitus, so I can survive one hit. Let's outvalue this somehow. Right arbor. My hoof is not in the deck. Unfortunately, I think I boarded it out. Yeah, I did. Okay. I can Dryad Arbor immediately cast Natural Order. I can put Progenitus into play, make them figure it out. But if they do figure it out, I lose. Figure it out means draw Painter in the next two draw steps. 
or no, they can, they're going to flip Fable, then Fable can copy Goblin Engineer, then Goblin Engineer can get Painter on the following turn. So Progenitus actually just doesn't win this game. Or, yes, it does because I have Reclaimer. Okay. One, two, three, four. Natural Order. I can Reclaimer for Bajuka Bog on the second turn of this interaction. I, they just can't draw Painter right now. Is Grist trying to grind better? I could Manic Vandal get rid of the Grindstone. Oh, there's so many options here. Magic is hard and sucks. If I get Manic Vandal, I can Exile Fable. I'm just going to put them to the test here. Attack for six. And I have other attackers. Oh, they can Grindstone themselves and maybe Spike Painter. Okay, I, I forgot about that, but let's hope that doesn't happen. Here are my attacks. Yeah, I could definitely lose to a good sequence here. Please don't hit Painter. Please don't hit Painter. Please don't hit Painter. Okay, Soul Guide Lantern and Lotus Petal. Soul Guide Lantern actually shrinks Elvish Reclaimer, but I don't think that matters. You do not have Painter. Like right now. This draw step cannot be Painter. The next one can be. It's fine. Oh, come on. Come on! <laughs> All right. Sure. Uh, I mean, they just needed one of their top three cards to be Painter and they win, but, uh, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Neat. Well, kind of a disappointing result with this deck. I will not say that it's built perfectly with all the correct things in the toolbox. Like I said, when the Fiend Artisan shell was unlocked, people went pretty deep trying all sorts of crazy stuff. I don't know if Brutal Cathar and Arkan of Emeria are really where you want to be. Marin was actually sick, though. Also, I, I'm not sure that I played perfectly. I don't know when you're supposed to put the gas on for Progenitus and Hoof versus Turtle Up with like Mass Vandal and stuff. I mean, the Mass Vandal play doesn't even work that turn because, or maybe it does. If they tap their Ancient Tomb instead of their Mountain to mill themselves in response to Mass Vandal, then just weld grindstone into one of the artifacts they mill then it doesn't actually do anything i probably would have had to go after fable but then i just died at the top deck painter anyway yeah i think putting them to dead if you don't spike painter right now was a fine place to go but it just didn't work out but there were other options and having more options is what i like in a deck it's just what decision was made did i make it correctly could i make it differently in the future the shell is cool. My personal record in this one league notwithstanding. I know Newton's putting up trophies all over the place. This list came from a trophy dump originally. There is a lot of power here. It's just not elves. If you are coming from a background where you played a lot of elves, maybe even one year ago, uh, it, as far back as like 10 years ago, I'm a big elf head. I definitely have played many, many elves, registered elves for many important tournaments, Grand Prix, Star Cities. This was my main deck for a long time, and this is not that. This is a totally different thing. This is green-black toolbox with some elves in it, and really this is a natural order deck. It's a guy's cradle natural order deck, and just understanding what you're registering, and it's not combo elves. If you do that and play appropriately in that, you'll find a lot of success. Also, Hello Newton has a Patreon that he dumps all sorts of wisdom. The cards he's thinking about, sideboard guides are always over there. Really generous with his knowledge, so go check that out. That was my outing with Luca's Marin Elf Fiend Artisan Cradle Control. Luca, thank you for asking me to play this. Everyone else, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Patreon. Check out Newton's Patreon. All those other links that support the channel. And I'll see you next time.